The Kimberly Clark MIC G Introducer Kit is intended to facilitate the primary placement of the Kimberly Clark and Kimberly Clark MIC brand of gastrostomy feeding tubes. Suggested Endoscopic Placement Procedure Select the appropriate MIC gastrostomy feeding tube. Using a lure slip syringe, inflate the balloon with sterile or distilled water through the balloon port. Remove the syringe and verify balloon integrity by gently squeezing the balloon to check for leaks. Visually inspect the balloon to verify symmetry. Place the patient in the supine position and insufflate the stomach with air. Transilluminate through the anterior abdominal wall to select a gastrostomy site that is free of major vessels, viscera, and scar tissue. Depress the intended insertion site with a finger. The endoscopist should clearly see the resulting depression on the interior surface of the gastric wall. Placing the safety pexy. Place a skin mark at the tube insertion site and define the gastropexy pattern by placing three skin marks equidistant from the tube insertion site and in a triangular configuration. Allow adequate distance, approximately 2 cm, between the insertion site and safety pexy placement so as to prevent interference of the anchor set and balloon once inflated. Attach a lure slip syringe containing 1 to 3 milliliters of sterile water or saline to the needle hub. Under endoscopic guidance, insert the preloaded safety pexy slotted needle with a single sharp thrust through one of the marked corners of the triangle until it is within the gastric lumen. The simultaneous return of air into the syringe and endoscopic visualization confirms correct intragastric position. After confirmation of correct position, release the suture strand and remove the syringe from the device. Bend the locking tab on the needle hub. Firmly push the inner hub into the outer hub until the locking mechanism clicks into place. This will dislodge the T-bar from the end of the needle and lock the inner stylet into position, blunting the needle. Withdraw the needle while continuing to gently pull the T-bar until it is flush against the gastric mucosa. Gently slide the suture lock down to the abdominal wall. A small hemostat may be clamped above the suture lock to temporarily hold it in place. Repeat the procedure until all three devices have been inserted in the corners of the triangle. Creating the stoma tract. With the stomach still insufflated and in apposition to the abdominal wall, identify the puncture site at the center of the gastropexy pattern. Insert the safety introducer needle into the gastric lumen. Advance the J-guide wire, J-end first, through the needle into the gastric lumen and confirm position. Remove the safety introducer needle, keeping the J-guide wire in place, and activate the safety collar. Slide the introducer needle safety collar down to the needle shaft while removing the safety introducer needle to prevent inadvertent needle stick. Use the number 11 safety scalpel blade to create a small skin incision that extends alongside the guide wire, downward through the subcutaneous tissue and the fascia of the abdominal musculature. Apply water-soluble lubricant at incision site. Advance the serial dilator over the guide wire. Use a firm clockwise counterclockwise twisting motion to initiate advancement of the dilator sheath into the gastric lumen. Stay perpendicular to the skin while dilating so as not to kink the J guide wire. Endoscopically verify placement of the dilator tip into the stomach. While holding the serial dilator stationary, grasp the next dilator sleeve and with a clockwise counterclockwise twisting motion, advance the next dilator into the stoma tract. Slide the segment forward until a physical stop is felt. Advance the red color-coded sleeve through the stoma tract and into the stomach. Continue dilation until all dilator sleeves have been advanced. Twist the dilator hub to release the peel-away sheath from the dilator. Lubricate the exterior of the peel-away sheath with a water-soluble lubricant and advance the sheath through the tract and into the stomach. Remove the dilator and J-guide wire, leaving the peel-away sheath in the stomach. Advance the distal end of the tube over the guide wire and into the stomach. After the tube has been advanced through the peel-away sheath and is in position in the stomach, peel the sheath away from the tube. Remove the guide wire. Using a lure slip syringe, inflate the balloon. Gently pull the tube up and away from the abdomen until the balloon contacts the inner stomach wall and a slight tension is felt. The balloon should now abut the stomach wall. Gently slide the secure lock external retention ring down the tube toward the abdomen until it rests 2 to 3 millimeters above the skin.